Hi, welcome back everybody. Let me make sure the audio is working and everything. There I am. There's the game audio. Alright, we're good. Welcome Bubbles. Hope y'all have had a good week so far. It is finally the weekend. And this is probably the latest stream. Not even the latest, the most normal schedule stream <laughs> that I've ever done. I usually do my streams like at 6 a.m., which is like kind of early. 4 or 6 a.m., somewhere there. But, you know, I fixed my sleep schedule recently, and I haven't been able to like push through and wake up early to stream. So we'll just wake up at a normal time instead. But yeah. Here's your daily reminder that you are loved and deserve all the respect. Hope you've had a good one so far, Bubbles. Alright, as you can see though, uh, this is Prey, the game. I, I might be covering the title a little bit, but... Yeah, Prey. I was gonna say something. As tradition, I'm hungry and was about to make food and saw your stream. Oh, let's go. It's food time. Well, for me, it would be breakfast because it's 9.30 a.m. here. But yes, it do be food time. Right now, I have my coffee. I got a snack. And I'm ready for some prey. Oh, but yeah. This game has one of my biggest pet peeves. Is that it locks your mouse into the screen worst design ever like you can't even adjust where the window is if you're playing window which i am so i can see chat which is terrible super bad and not every game does this so yeah kind of tough but we work with it also excuse me if i have to clear my throat Pretty often, uh, it is. I did just wake up. I have like two sips of coffee and oh, yeah, let's go. New game, campaign slot one. I guess we're going number one. Easy, normal. I'm tempted to do easy just so we can get through it faster on stream. But then I can also assume it won't be as interesting. Survival won't be a problem for you, probably. Use your wits, weapons, and abilities to, to survive. Survival mode options? Weapon degradation. Weapons wear down from use. If not repaired, they will jam periodically. Bombas. Bone fracture, concussion, hemorrhage. Oxygen? Suit damage causes air to leak from your suits. Oh. Ooh, we'll go... Yeah, I've wanted to go easy mode on games lately, just to make it easier to get through them on stream. But for example, Mega Man X8 didn't allow it because you needed the real ending, <laughs> and you needed to play hard mode for that. And Kingdom Hearts, let's just say with Kingdom Hearts, normal mode is pretty easy. So we can do no weapon degradation, easy mode. We'll keep everything else though. Oh lord. Male female. Oh. Mm. I mean, we'll go with female. Why not? How you been, chat? So I've been good. I've been big chilling, big vibing. Working on editing stuff. That's what I've mostly been busy with. It's like... It's not hard work. But it's more like... Looking through footage takes up a lot of time because if you're gonna edit a video that is like four hours long you're gonna have to watch all those four hours to cut it down and then start editing and that's what takes up most of my time and it would be like four hours of active listening which would be like listening really intently for something good that you want to include in the edit and that's also kind of exhausting a little bit so hold on are we losing frames why are we losing friends? Keep losing friends. Press A. We'll do. Ooh. 
Hmm. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. That's not even that far. 2032. Interesting. A female because boobs. Yep. Boobs and butt. If we're gonna be staring at someone's behind for a while, might as well be nice girl butt. I mean, I'm sure the guy's butt is nice too, but uh, it's a poor preference thing. Jeez, that that uh that mouse sensitivity though. Controls for the controller. It's left trigger for that. That's fine. Is there anything for sensitivity? Game subtitled vibration off. Camera roll. No, yeah, that sensitivity is off the charts. Cursor speed, there we go. I hope that's what it is. Controls, move forward. Oh, those are key binds. Mm, was there a way to change? Music volume is fine. Effects volume is fine. Guess we Helicopter just to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Mm. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. That's still so sensitive. Oh, listen, I am uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Oh. First day on the job. You've been given an objective. Press start. Or select rather to open your objective screen. Objectives, first day on the job. I just convinced me I'm going to join him aboard the Talos 1 space station. The work we're doing up there is too good to pass up. Plus, he says he's got a surprise. I have to jump through some hoops at the training center before I board the shuttle. Alright. We gotta put on our uniform. Uh, also, I still don't know how I feel about this cursor sensitive sensitivity. We gotta make it a lot lower. Oh, I can change the difficulty mid-game. That's pretty cool. Well, I don't know about pretty cool, but pretty useful. Gameplay, HUD, vertical style, player state, damage feedback. Where is sensitivity? Is it just this? What did I put it at, like, 5? Will that actually change anything? It will not. I don't know what could possibly be doing that. But yeah, you got any plans for Halloween bubbles? Maybe hand out some candy, maybe buy some Halloween Pokemon cards, because that is a thing. Controls, controller, I guess we'll just go to Steam? I assume y'all can't see the Steam window, right? Okay, good. Oh, there we go. I can change the sensitivity right here. Very important. We'll do that. And... See if that works. Oh, yeah, that's better. A little bit snappy, but... No, it's a little bit too much. So from 200, we'll go 150. Yeah, it's perfect. Ugh, there's still a little bit of motion blur. You just reminded me I have Halloween Pokemon packs I hid from myself. Oh, let's go. Yeah, those Halloween Pokemon packs are such a good idea. I'm tempted to get some for myself, but I know for a fact that there, there really isn't really isn't anything worth in there. It's mostly just for the, the novelty of opening or giving out Halloween packs or, you know, Pokemon cards for Halloween instead of candy, which is honestly like such a good alternative because especially during Halloween, I remember as a kid getting so many cavities. It wasn't even like, it wasn't even close. Like the rest of the year, nothing, but why right after Halloween, like five, six cavities, it wasn't like... And it is genetics, partly, but I don't even know that you would prevent it. 
because I remember always making sure to brush my teeth before I went to bed, no matter how late I ate candy. I guess we just deal with the motion blur? Not a fan of it, but I'm sure we'll get used to it. Uh, and by we, I say me. Alright, X to use objective. I opened a few and got the Halloween Mewtwo. It was like, enough, I'll save the rest, yeah. That's honestly the way it goes. It's like, okay, I opened more than I thought I would. Or, or rather, I opened one and I got like a super good card. There probably won't be another super good card in the rest of them, so I'll just keep them sealed. Hi, who are you? Good morning, miss you. Hmm. Miss you. Open door. Uh, okay, I can just open. Did I close my door? Yeah, I'm sure I'll get used to this. Can I run? I can! Use A to jump and L to sprint. B to crouch. Just like while sprinting. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm still crouched though. So crouch is B to, B to hold. Roof my food. Guess we go to roof. Yeah, I've been tempted because they're pretty cheap as well. It's like the bag is 20, 25 bucks. Not that bad. And I remember wanting to get them last year, and last year the packs were better. But this year they're also pretty good. Honestly, anything with Mimikyu in it is just gonna be good. I feel like Mimikyu is going up the ranks, this, the same way Pikachu and Charizard up, are up there already. Helicopter. Make sure to duck. Mind your head. Don't want the blades. Make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Oh, I'm Miss You. Facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees. Clear Ooh. skies all the way. The credits are in the buildings. See, that's creative. I like that. I guess we vibe. Oh yeah, also, uh, I did mention I wanted to open uh -huh, open Pokemon packs on stream eventually. So what I did, I thought real hard about it and, and wondered what would be the best use of my money and like also something cool to show on stream. And I decided on spending money on fake Pokemon cards. My reasoning being, I could have spent a hundred bucks on a really, really good product, but at the end of the day, it was still going to be gambling, and I don't know, that a hundred bucks wasn't going to come back to me, as is evident by my current collection, which has quite a few valuable cards, but not the amount I invested in, you know, the overall hobby. Here we are, Ms. Yu. And so if it's just to open... If it's just to open packs on stream, I think it's more fun to open fake packs just because neither I nor anyone else really knows how bad those fakes are going to be. Oh hi. And not only that, I, I think it's guaranteed to be at least one like shiny card in each pack. And they're so cheap as well. It was like five or six bucks for a booster box of fake Pokemon cards. Which is like so good. You always buy expecting it to not get back what we spent. Yeah. And it's, it, it's one of those things where even if you're chasing a card and you're like, oh, if I get X card, it'll pay for the box I just got. Even then, like, it's not, it doesn't actually. It might be worth what the box is right now, but. Good luck trying to sell it for that price. Trying to sell any Pokemon cards for what they're actually worth is difficult. Most people, most people want like that. Some amount of markdown for them to buy it. At least usually. But yeah, play Pokemon cards, it'll be fun. I also have some real ones. Some Korean booster packs, which those are real, just in a different language. And it, it'll just be a whole thing. I have a lot of plans. Once everything gets here. Yes. Uh, hi. Can I actually speak to you? Mm. 
But yeah, I decided that would be the best use of my money because that way I would spend 30 bucks for two whole booster booster boxes, right? Yeah, two whole booster boxes for 30 bucks, already a steal. And they're not real cards, but at the same time, even if they were real cards, the value's not going to be there, right? It, it, none of it is going to be worth those 30 bucks. So I'm just like, if I'm going to spend money and get worthless cardboard, might as well be, you know, fake. <laughs> might as well be more exciting. Because it's gonna, there's going to be misprints, there's going to be different names on different Pokemon, different images on different names on different Pokemon. It's going to be a whole thing. It'll be hilarious. Hopefully. <laughs> Uh, new subjective, I guess. Oh, are those the floors? Oh, right, we're on the roof. This is a fast elevator. Gosh dang. Room 71. Oh, please. Hi. Alex, you. And I'm Morgan, you. Am I like. This guy's wife? Hi. Who are you? Oh, you are you. Alex, you. Oh my god. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. I like How's this. Your eye? I don't like this. Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Interesting. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy is going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in Wilmay. Right. Oh, sister. That I why why didn't I think of that? I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm like, why didn't I think of them being siblings? If you want something worth the money, the white Charizard box is so that's what I was looking at actually. Uh the Mew box and the Charizard box. But then I realized it was still gonna be gambling. Like, sure. The playmat is worth like 20, 30 bucks. The the gold promo in the Mew box is also worth quite a bit. The promos in Charizard are also really nice. Honestly, the Charizard promos are a better deal than the Mew promos. Like, Mew promos, it's a gold, like, a metallic card, which is really cool, but it's not going to be worth as much as any Charizard card, ever. So, I did consider it. And those were the products I was going to get, but I'm like, I could probably make better use of the money, because, like, realistically, I didn't, I didn't thought about it. I'm like, all these cool things in the box, I'm going to just show you the playmat, show you the the promos, and they're going to go away, right? It'll be like five seconds. Most The bulk of the stream is going to be me opening the packs, and the suspense of seeing if I get anything good. And that being the case, the fake booster boxes seemed like a much better option. Just for that purpose of, you know, the suspense of what is going to come out in these packs. And are we going to get, you know, anything exciting, which... Yeah, the, the fake booster boxes are much better for them. Everything in the box is worth a hundred bucks, including the packs and opens. Ooh. Oh geez, we're in the testing room. But yeah, I did morning, really consider those. They're really good products. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. All right, Probably tests. Not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All Button. good. Great. Button. Let's begin. Can I press button? First test, I'd like you to press button. The boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. This button isn't red though. It is red. Let's go. What? 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 Wonderful. That's you're absolutely fine. <laughs> uh, I imagine they expected me to not throw them. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, I hate this so much. When, like, you're getting some kind of, like, test that you don't know what it's about. You don't even know. You don't even know. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Oh yeah, it's weird in these like tests, and like you know psychiatrists as well, where they test you and you don't know what they're looking for, and they they're they're kind of like okay, that's a 
interesting, and you don't know why it's interesting. What's wrong with grapes? Also, hold on, let me just put I'm hidden. You can't see me. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, that's the only thing in the room, buddy. There's nothing else to hide behind. Synaptic register. At all? No? That's fine. I have the box and use it to store so my cards and sleeves, yeah. Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. Yeah, no, Pokemon products are so much better than magic products, it's not even close. Like, if the bundles for magic included sleeves, people would be over the moon happy. But Pokemon has been doing that for such a long time. With the Elite Trainer boxes, for example. Like, it's just a given. Right. Here we go. For this test, Final test, I think? Please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible. Okay. Without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Got it. Put Jump. Got it. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's what is on. What is happening? I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. I feel like they're expecting something. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. This is weird. It's like they're expecting something, but not getting it. Also, I can't go. There we go. Hi. Here. Please wait. Use objective. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Ooh, I have a cup of coffee. Let me okay, take a sip. Morgan, have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Mm -hmm. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Start on the screen. Sure. Oh, you're planning on vacation? Go somewhere familiar you know you love, or try something new. You got anything to say, buddy? You're still on. <laughs> Mike is hot. Mike is hot. Brother. Let me do my thing. Uh, somewhere new, because... You know, if you go the same place over and over, eventually you won't be able to go somewhere new. Uh, yeah, somewhere new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Okay. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Uh, for my actions? It, it was worth it. Afraid. I don't know what Yeah, I guess. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Yes, it is. These are questions that I assume you chose. A runaway train is oh my god is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. It's one of those things, right? Where here's my opinion on the the train tracks problem, the 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 trolley problem. I think it's called. If I save those five people, realistically, they're not going to be remorseful that one person died for them, they're going to be like, oh, you made a good choice saving five people. They're going to agree that it was a good choice to save five people and sacrifice one. Whereas if you save that one person and knowing that five other people died for that, for them, they're going to question whether they're worth it. And if they like somehow are like, oh yeah, I was totally worth those five people, maybe they weren't worth saving after all. If they're not actually grateful for that, you know, I'd rather not risk it, right? Like, one person for five is just not not quite it. And I feel like gratefulness does have to do with it, because... I feel like after saving someone's life, you might have some kind of connection with them. Like, might be an instant bonding moment where it's like, Hey, yo, I saved your life. Uh, you, owe me, you owe me a life that we got for... for I don't know, not not dinner, not like a, a date, but like, go, go to hang out sometime, right? If it was some, someone you love, though, yeah, this one isn't specific, it's like random people, but I can see if it's like one person you love versus five people you don't know, 
or five people you went, you went to school with. Something like that, right? Where you know them, but you don't, you aren't close to them. But I feel like if it's someone you love, you could then decide based on, if, considering you know them well, you can then decide would they rather, would they be okay with being, you know, saved at the price of five people? Because I know some loved ones would be like, you know what, I'm not that important, save the five people, and they'd be happy to do that. But there are others that are like, you know, why would you do this? Uh, you know, we're, we're loved ones. We've known each other for a long time, like, why would you not save me over five people? Five, ra well, five semi-random people. So it does depend. It depends on, like, what the person you love is like. Would they be okay with, you know, sacrificing themselves for five people? Or would they be okay with the other way around? But I feel like generally, if it's truly random people, I'm positive the five people are the right choice to save. Because as morbid as it is, they would easily disregard that it was only one person for them. Like, they wouldn't care. They'd be like, okay, it's dead. RIP that one person, but we're, we're alive. And that's all that, that would be. Because people are just uh, like that. Whereas, if it was one person, they would be very grateful, but then also kind of remorseful. Like, they would really kind of consider things. Because it would be like, you know, possibly ag angry that you sacrificed five people for what, for that one person. Yeah, sacrifice the, four, the one person to save five. Easy. If it's random people, of course. But I'm pretty sure there is no good outcome to saving the one person. Neither on their, you know, psychological state afterwards. Like, I'm sure most people would be traumatized if they not only saw, but knew that five people were sacrificed to save that, that one person. That'd be quite strange. Also, yeah, we've we've uh, spent too much time on this, so it's going towards the, f the five people, right? You can switch tracks. So we'll switch tracks. Good. Next. Although I was tempted to just troll it a little bit. Oh, hold on. A railway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man, pushing him to the track would stop the train. Once again, would you sacrifice one person for five people? In this case, it would be... Well, it was always an involuntary sacrifice. If you, in the previous problem, that one person wouldn't know that they were being sacrificed. You would just kind of do it. Same here. This one person doesn't know they're being sacrificed. You would just kind of do it. But it's essentially the same thing. It doesn't change much. It... Oh, jeez. And it's one of those things, right, where if you didn't do it, the fat man wouldn't mind. Like, the, he wouldn't, w the fat man wouldn't have known that they could have prevented it by sacrificing themselves. Because it's involuntary in this case. You're literally going to push him into the tracks. Um, but if, it, if the event happens, they're going to be traumatized and then also not know that they could have prevented it by sacrificing themselves. Just really, again, no winning. No winning by keeping the, the fat man unpushed. It's what I'm trying to say. So, I mean, why, why not? Right. Why not? Oh, geez. Runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. You push the fat man. This isn't even part of the, the prompt. This isn't even... That's funny. Push the fat man is still here. So I realize I might be covering the, the options, but I might switch if it's too often that I cover important things on the screen. So it's push the fat man, jump on the cracks, do nothing. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. I mean, if you push the fat man, it won't stop the tracks in this case, and also the fat man will die. 
and also the five people would die. So like, five people. Do I care enough about five random people to sacrifice myself though? This is quite a dilemma, cause like, it's one of those things where in the perspective of the previous ones, it's you that perceives other people's lives worth, right? So you think one person's life couldn't possibly be worth more than five. Like, uh, there's very few ways that would be a possibility. But in the that one person's perspective that was about to get sacrificed, their life is maybe worth more than those five. Especially if they were in this situation. Because I would think my life is worth more than five random people. And it's one of those things where if you do something, you may or may not be remembered. But if you don't do anything, you will also not be remembered. Like, you, you'll get nothing for sacrificing yourself, and you'll also get nothing for not doing anything, right? You'll get trauma at most. So it's weird. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track. And it's one of those things where you have to think about the aftermath, like... You sacrifice yourself, they go to their families, uh, would they really go out of the way to find out, like, oh, who was this person that saved us? Uh, let's go, you know, tell their family that they did this heroic act. Probably not. They'll probably just move on with their lives, be grateful, and move on. You know, and whatever family you did have would just wonder why the heck you did that. I mean, you, you kind of be a little heroic in your family's eyes if they find out exactly why you did it. But otherwise, the, the, the news headline might be more along the lines of man jumps in front of a track and then stops the track from hitting five other people. And it's like, was it intentional? Was it, was it an accident? Quite the dilemma. Uh, but no, uh, I'll just do nothing here. More more cons than pros. And I don't, I don't think it'll be well done. worth it. Well next part I'm going to display an image I want you to take a good look at it oh In a whoa moment, I'm going to whoa ask you what, uh, oh is my I saw that it's empty uh oh whoa no way mm. oh oh my god oh I'm dead I'm dead and I'm dead oh did I get gassed that's what I assume happened. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about mm. Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Oh. Clean it up. I'm on my way. So yeah, coffee cups can be mimics. Kinda scary. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. 2032, that's not even that... I, I said it before, but it's not even that far. It's like nine years from now. Is that... I think the math is correct on that, but yes. Nine years from now. Alright, let me check this coffee mug. Oh, it's golden. What? Oh no. I broke my favorite mug. Pick up multiple items. Burn circuit board. I'm? The heck? Why can't I climb my desk? I can climb my desk. Climb? Jump. On? Couch? Wait, what does it say? Carry. Leverage 3. Oh, the couch. So there's difficulties to carrying or picking things up. Do mirrors work? Mirrors do not work. What is this? Toilet flush. Hmm. Also, the music did change. Let's try the computer. Password. 
six emails. Let's see them. Uh, danger, leave now from January to Morgan Yu. Danger, leave now. To Morgan Yu from January. Who is January? EOM. What could EOM mean? Whatever. Put on our space suit, our super suit. And move along like nothing happened. What? He did. That's not good. Door doesn't open. Lifeline? Uh oh. Oh, jeez. That is terrifying. I have a wrench. I can take a wrench. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. Ooh. My code name is January. Oh. You're not dreaming. What happened he sent the messages. Was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. The whole You're building? Not safe. Break out. Okay. Well, I can charge it up. Bonk. Well, that's my stamina. Well, that's bad. Uh, open door. Bonk. 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 Not sure. Not quite sure what to do. Bonk. Well, that worked. Again. Bonk. Ah, boo. Bonk. 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 I sure hope the flashlight doesn't have a battery. Bonk. That's weird. <gasps> oh. What's in here, though? Can I? I can. Uh, I don't trust being here. Incoming call. You're in the simulation lab. Now oh. get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. It's the main lobby. Where exactly would that be? I don't want to explore a little bit. Also, is there a way to tell Wait, why? what mimics are? Is it going to be like Dark Souls 2 where you have to hit them first to, fi to find out if it's a mimic? I can't carry that yet. Coffee cup? Can't trust any coffee cups. Okay, maybe I didn't need to do all that, but... There's gotta be a way to tell what a mimic is. So I should probably not be crouching anymore. Crash carts. I don't want to. Hell yeah. Oh my god, this is so nice. I can actually do the things I want to do. <laughs> I can just break whatever I want. Wait, is this my room? Could I have just gone out the window? Oh! That's why. I'm like, how am I back in my room? Because this is fake. It's all fake. Man. Note. Uh, from 0 to 7.30, sleeping. 7.31, wakes up, turns off alarm. 7.32, checks transcribe. 7.34 to 7.55, on computer, various tasks. 8.04, take shower. 826 baton uniform exits apartment. Is that really monitoring me? Monitoring me? Helicopter arrival pigeon test? Was this a simulation for us? No way. Forget to wear your suit. See you oh soon. man, that is oh, interesting. Listen, uh, yeah, like it's the same wake-up call. Can I skip? Can I skip? We're Morgan, like old times. Mm, okay. So, RE, daily tests, to Evelyn McCarthy. If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put in extra effort to hit our milestones. 
and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. From Ellen McCarthy to Sylvain Bellamy. Subject daily tests. Dr. Bellamy, at this point Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neural mod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely? What? I know about this morning to all. I know this morning's incident, this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. The station-wide announcement will be open. Oh. Will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will, will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. I really doubt he survived. There ain't no way. But oh well. So, observation is this way. those noises. Also this camera's following me. Kinda creepy. What are those sounds? Is it in the safe? Locked. Fine. Password. No password found. Oh. Nope. Password ICOP 0876, please. Uh, enter password. Does it automatically? Let's go. Email. Oh, geez. Reminder about company password policy. Password protection. Okay, that's fine. Noted about this morning should be the same. Bad install. Simmons. The test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neural mods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. So. I was being tested on, just straight up. Make marking the entire this entire SKU is defective. Investigate with fabrication marker. Okay, I don't know what an SKU would be. Can I sit down? Can I have a seat? I'm positive. There's something in here. Can I? I want to. Man, I can't even break it. Edge. So where were we meant to? Oh jeez. Wrench. The Hephaestus hef Hefty Twist and Loop Handle Wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel. Interesting. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. All wrench attacks will drain your stamina. Does this mean... Oh, it's walking by itself now. I hear something. I fit? I do fit. What's this thing? That's... Oh, the helicopter was an actual simulation. It's creepy. Yeah, wow, that is... concerning. What I'm getting is that I was being tested on. Like, they put a Neuromod on me, did tests, and I was just in a constant state of being brought back to the same place to see if anything was different. Elevator? Roof, my floor. Um, I'm guessing that's not real either. Do not open door while simulation is in progress. Yeah. Oh. Everything leads back to my apartment. So this is just like the back entrance they used to to get me back in the room. So let's go here. Mm. What is all that? Oh, I can go in now. I kinda don't like that. I'm. Warning, do not open door while simulation is in progress. This door? 
Oh, it's to the hallway. And I assume that door also opens. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Where is it? I saw it. But I don't know what it could be. Wait a minute. I think I saw it, but I don't know where it went. Wham. Right, I guess we'll read this. An account of Fermi's question. Excerpt from, a, excerpt from a book of the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence by Dr. Robert James III. Consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like the sun, many of them far older. Some of the stars have, will have Earth-like planets. Some of these planets may have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop interstellar travel. Yeah, I mean, no doubt there are beings outside Earth that are alive. And they might be extremely different. I'm just gonna start whacking things. Cabinet, search. Well, hold on. That's my inventory. Okay. Nothing too special. Kings and Way sparkling wine. No? Congrats, Morgan. What? That wasn't a mimic. Where did I see it? Where did it go? It went through there, I believe. Hmm. So what is this? It's a lamp. Interesting. I'm not sure... Or something. Whoa. Second hamster? Where is it? Oh, jeez. So if something new appears, like that. What? Where? Oh, I think it's stuck. Alright. Get to it. Uh oh. Barely got it off me. I kinda have to kite it like a like a like a creature. I was gonna say like a creeper for Minecraft, but not quite. So there kind of are tells as to what is a mimic. It's just tough to kill them without getting too close. So where was I supposed to go again? Maybe I find an elevator. Maybe that would help. What is this? Emergency phone. This is all busted up. This leads to my room. Exit. Maybe somewhere here? Oh right, we didn't go in that door, and in that door. I need to run for it. What the hell? What's happening right now? Oh, things are broken. Makes sense. Confirm. So the elevator isn't real? So, okay, elevator isn't real. That fixed that, though. Are these, like, brain waves? Room. Can't open testing room. Why are we here? Computer? Utilities. Scene selection. When subject MU, me, Morgan U, is inside the elevator during maintenance operations between test runs, Report any tactical issues immediately to Dr. Sylvan Bellamy. 
Test management? Reset the test rooms, reset the... Reset. Med kit? Er. Quick select. Ooh. Why am I here? Where do I go? Also, what are my objectives? Objectives. A stranger named Janet. My apartment isn't what I thought it was. Escape my apartment. Get to the main lobby. Where is the main lobby? I know this doesn't work. Yeah, where would the main lobby be? Somewhere here, maybe? Hmm. Computer? Is this explosive canister? The entire thing. What oh, is? Hope I don't have to use it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not there. Not here. There was another elevator. If I remember correctly. We read everything here, I believe. Yeah. Bad installation. Where's the main lobby? Not here. Main lobby. Right, all these rooms lead to my quote unquote my room. But then simulation that way, storage is this way. I feel like we've gone that way. Let's go this way now. Anything new? Nope. This is storage. Where is the main lobby? Uh, I'm tripping. I, I'm going in circles. Like, I assume this is storage, but... But it's not the main lobby. Are we sure it says what it says? It does. Get to the main lobby. How? Shh. I, I don't know. Man. Gotta find a way to the lobby. Is it in this wall? But it can't be in our room. That'd be something I'm missing. At least in the fridge. I guess I can take the tea. Oh, it's the corpse of the thing. Search? Mimic tumor and typhon organ. Interesting. Where haven't I checked? Simulation debriefing. Have I been there? I think I haven't. Yeah, it looks pristine. I should have broken something by by then. There's stairs. So I do have to go over there. I don't know how. I did do this before, right? Last one? There we go. Nope, we're right back here. 
There are stairs, but I don't know how to get there. Anything here? Does it make a noise? Nope, I make a noise though. Can't break this. I assume I can't get through because of the blinds, which is kind of dumb. So where and how do I go? Simulation soundstage. That's something? I'm, I'm missing something. Elevator? Oh. Oof. Broken. My floor. Already here. I guess we can try going back. Okay, we're here now. I think this is a new room. I'm coming, Paul. Typhon Hecoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Be mimics. careful what you pick up. I won't pick up anything. What? Right, hold on. Let's read some uh, things. We already read that. Morgan's behavior. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the de debrief. Pending a psych evaluation. Alex indicated that he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we. Granted, Morgan had forgotten everything from last test, as expected. But the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start cha charting personality drift before future tests. In debriefings, one within the test itself. Okay. I'm being tested on is what I'm getting at. I broke out one time. Not one broke out, but acted out one time, and they're like, no, not anymore. No more of that. So upwards in simulation, observation, all that stuff. That's what we're here. Then. Broken TV, broken everything. The way they fight is weird. Yeah, very unique. It reminds me of like Dusks. Did I kill it? It always seems like they don't die. <laughs> or rather they die weird. Wait. Wrench? Oh. Right, everyone has a wrench. We got about that. Mm. Oh my. Yo. Hey. What the heck is that? I see you. The sentient cup. Where'd it go? Oh. Literal coffee cup is sentient. Can I lock on? Locking on would be fun. This stuff. Close scope. Okay. Any more coffee cups want to assault me? Oh, hi. Also, okay to recent simulation. Okay. Simulation scene LG power. I assume that it matters. Oh, right. Are these important? I feel like I left some behind. So nothing there, aside from a couple of mimics, a couple of flying coffee mugs. That stayed the control room. Oh, the door opens. Oh, jeez. I'm trying. Also, oh my god, that is so bad. Uh-oh. Imagine. Stay alive. Just a little further. Uh, okay. What's a decontamination room? 
where did they go? Because they're not in this room, are they? They kind of just scattered. There is a tell, though, because they, like... They move around when they mimic something. Play your way. Okay. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching the key for the keycard, finding an alternate path. As you learn new abilities, more often will become available to you. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. What if I... What? Nothing beats vandalism. Where is... Either find the keycard or find the way around. Yeah, they die weird. For sure, for sure. Water cooler. Drink? I drank, apparently? Did it do anything? I'm not sure if it did anything. Um. Heat drive. Oh, okay. We gotta find. E card. Which was maybe on the other guy's body? Right? Suit repair kit, sure. Sunburst banana pudding, sure. Air parts, sure. It was another body as well, right? That I probably didn't search. Three emails. Next week's test. Urgent. I think Bellamy's taking data related to mimicry of the remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab the key card to to his cabin off his body. Search for Bellamy's corpse in trauma center lobby. I could, but I could also find another way. Was it up that I go? I assume not. Maybe this way is up. Yeah, there's a corpse here, I think, that I didn't check out before. Hi. Oh. Anything else? Nope. Ooh, I should be taking the Typhon organs, I just realized. They're probably important. But I don't know if I want to go back to collect all of them. I hope they're not too important. I, I, I would have gotten so many by now. Oh, this room sucks. Get me out. Get me out. This door opens. Key card on a corpse. I don't think I found the key card on a corpse. But... What if there is another way around? Things up about this room. Oh, where was it? There we go. I knew it. Yeah, you can kind of instantly tell that there's something new. They're so agile. So I'm so bad at combat. Okay, I'll take that if you don't mind. It's a good thing it tells me kind of where they are. Because I'm just not attentive enough to, you know, know where they are immediately. What is this? I don't know. It's probably nothing important. Probably too much reading. Definitely too much reading. So, keycard? Hmm. Any other way to get around this? That works. Med kit. Oh yeah. I should be looking around more often. Hold on. Oh yeah. It's 
So where exactly am I meant to go? Because up here there wasn't really anything worth noting. It was just an additional observation room. Or rather additional observation area. This is where it came from. So up is simulation lab, debriefing, everything. So then where's the doctor's corpse? So we went upstairs. And upwards is exit to lobby, skill recorder, stage B control. Hmm. Where was his body then? Did I miss anyone? Not quite sure. Let's double check objective. Also, I should be quick saving. I don't know why I haven't. So, objectives. Force vanishes. Oh, uh, show completed. Get active. Simmons wrote an email to Javen, whoever that is, stating that Bellamy kept some psy psychoscope research data in his crew cabin. In the trauma center. Where's the trauma center though? Because all I saw was like observation room. Decontamination. Research and design. So not over here. So where would the trauma center be? This leads to control room B. Then where would it's not take fall damage? Where would the trauma center be? Observation. Maybe... This is my room from on top. Yeah, none of these labels have trauma center listed. Which is strange. That's where I was instructed to go. Testing facility. Testing rooms. Oh, there's a literal marker? Is that new? There's no way I missed that, right? There's no way I missed that. Trauma center this way. Up there. This is the right way to go. Is there a way to get there? I don't know if there's a way to get there. From here... What is this room? The whole layout of this place is terrible. Terrible, terrible. So is this the trauma center? We're somehow both closer and further away. This is back in my apartment. And from here we go through here. From here. Where would we go? I assume I don't have to open the elevator again, right? For the whole... Through here. Almost enters that way. How would I get there? Is 
as we just follow our hearts. Oh right, jeez, that scared me. I'm like, please. There's this, this, all these rooms. Where would the trauma center be? Up there, I guess. Wait, that doesn't make sense. No, that doesn't make sense. Because I thought I was looking for the key card at the trauma center to get through the door. But it turns out I gotta get through the door to get to the trauma center to get the key card. Unless I'm understanding wrong. Psychoscope research data in his crew cabin. Enemy's corpses in the trauma center might still have the key card to his cabin. I need a what? Now I really do think I'm missing something. I saw it move, I'm like, there's no way. Email, simulation question. Hmm. Oh. Take that. There is something I'm missing. I just don't know where to find it. Because I checked all the corpses, I'm pretty sure. search. Yeah, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Lockers. Search? Nothing. I'm kind of at a loss. Those are chip sets. I have med kit, spine kit, Old Mountain, Green Tea, Braid Wire. Can I make my own key card? Like the game said there should be a different way around, but I don't believe that. So maybe I should pay attention to the names. Caleb Hawthorne. Sylvan Bellamy. It's literally here. I just had to pay attention. Imagine that. Imagine that. Already a mimic. Where? Oh, yo. They want to live inside us like a what? That was right. Oh. Keep moving. Okay. I'll be sure to... Whoa. It's stuck midair. There's multiple of them. Sneak attack for extra damage, okay. I'll take all of these if you don't mind. I'll take the glue cannon if you don't mind. Holy, what is this? Oh. A new weapon. Transfer glue cannon, jellyfoam lattice organism obstructor, that's funny, disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. Interesting. I also got 41 ammo, I believe. Oh, that's a lot. And I think I'll just let them vibe. Swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Wait, Take what? Take a look. Okay, I gotta run, I think. Eat no way. Fever's wheel. Jump. Let me go. Oh my god, you cannot be serious. 
let me switch faster. There we go. Neural mods and abilities. This isn't the time. I gotta go. Please, what is this? So, position one. Neural mods required. Your knowledge of medical practice increases the effectiveness of med kits. Okay. Hacking one. Bypass level one security measures. This might be more important. Know thyself. Okay, let's go. I hate those words, the main lobby. They've meant pretty much nothing for the, the whole time I've been here. Also, this loop doesn't work as advertised. Unless it does. What if I just farm their materials here? Yeah, it, it, it's not doing anything. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Oh, it kind of is. Can I farm them? I want to farm them. Flashlight. Oh, they become un defrosted, unfrosted. Watch me trap myself in the goo. Honestly, the goop gun sucks. I don't like the goop gun. Not a fan of the goop gun. Ow. I might die here. Okay. Let's uh do some of our some of our med kit place. Use back to full health. Another one. I feel like I wasted too much goop. All things considered. We'll take all the mimic uh, parts that we can. Take some glue ammo. Take more mimic parts. More mimic parts. I wonder what they're for, but I assume they're like something you have to farm eventually. Keycard. Travel. Are you sure? Yep. I'm pretty darn sure. Alright, I think we're done with the tutorial. <laughs> it took quite a bit of time, quite a bit of being lost. Alright, I had to take a sip of my non-mimic coffee mug. Had to do it too. I say sure. So is this an actual hard save point? Neural mod. You made it. Ready for I sure did. Real view of the world? Sure. Let me get my goop gun. Oh, Adel's one lobby. These are planets. I think that's the Earth. Am I supposed to be seeing something? Oh, something broke. Something crashed, rather. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Break out. Get to the main lobby. Okay. So, wrench is better. For now. Oh. Hiya, buddy. Whoa! He's a spellcaster. What the fuck? Why are you a spellcaster? Oh jeez. So I can only hit him once? Oh my gosh, I'm almost dead. So I might not be equipped to fight him yet. He's got like long range attacks. Ew. Yeah, I don't think I'm meant to fight those.
I need an actual better damaging weapon. I should also probably heal. At least a little bit. At least a little bit. I will say though, oh my god, it kind of defeats the purpose of the goop gun to paralyze them. If the moment you hit them, they become unparalyzed, right? Seems kind of useless. Because I can imagine if you don't want to fight them, you can goop them for like getting away, but I'm making get to. No way. I'm dead. Oh! Whoa! We have turrets? Let's go. Had I known, please. All right, so there's turrets. That is very useful. Would have been good to know, honestly, before I set out to try to kill them. What is this? Thing? Mm. Organic material, test tube sample, organic material. Okay. Anyone else that died that has uh, a key card, perhaps? Any more dead bodies with key cards? Any key card wielding dead bodies? Any dead body wielding key cards? Oh, there's so many mimics. Cool. Turret, save me. Where are you? Where's turret? Uh, we'll just pick up everything. And hope that one of them is a key card. Nope, no matching key card. Uh, why isn't hacking working though? I hear things, but I don't know what they mean. Oh! No oxygen beyond this point. Uh, maybe I don't want to go that way. Also, there is turrets everywhere. Would be useful. Where was I meant to go exactly? There. Go then. No need for key cards. As I say that, why do I not know the code? Where's my hacking skills? When I need them. This is also not my room, I think. Sales division. Maintenance access only. I think this is where I'm supposed to go. But oh, come on. Okay. Maybe it would have been more useful to put a point into hacking instead. No, into the med kit. Because hacking is turning out to be very useless. Like, extremely useless. Oh jeez. Too many of them. I am almost dead. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Where's turret? Turret. Turret. Where are they at? Where's the turret? Turret, save me. Ah. Turret, save me. Oh yeah. Please send a help alert to security. I don't know what to do, man. Oh, these don't. Those don't break. Very interesting. Um. Oh, I think I missed you. No key card, though. Is this a separate set of rooms? Who and what and where? Why? Uh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Whoever gave me a wrench decided that combat will be difficult. 
is you kind of have to aim at them. And you can't lock on. That I know of. I'll take that if you don't mind. I do need... No. This. Here we go. I think I saw another mimic. Was chasing me. Oh, come on. You give me so many things, but they're also useless. Brained pills. What does that even mean? Okay. Video file. Alright, nice. Executive office. Enter password. No password known. Banana. Banana. Yeah, at this point I'm positive. Positive the banana would be a better weapon or whatever. This is my office. Why don't I know the password to my own office? This is dumb. So many pass keys and codes. I'm not sure how to get them. Sofa chair. Oh. The code to your office is zero four five one. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know. I was wondering. This is my office. My real non mimic Welcome office. Back. This has been your home for the last three years. Oh wow. The video should be on your workstation. Yeah. Enter password. Utilities. Hello, Morgan. This is this LGB file should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. Sure. Watch me. LGB. Okay. Whoa. Oh, behind me. If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. Oh no. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. Interesting. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the type and organism, <laughs> mapping their the, the, the idle animation. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the oh, moment wow. you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs, but someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well. That's exactly what Alex did. The Best question up. is, why? Yeah. You're not going to like what I have to say next. No. Well, I guess I don't like what he said. to explain everything in person for now just damn it i have I to go just sit tight you cannot Please. trust you anymore alex like, come on basically use me as a test subject you use your sister as a test subject that's messed up for three years sorry morgan alex cut us off from the looking glass servers time to improvise did you tell I me workshop in the hardware oh labs. Gosh. He invented hardware the looking labs. glass technology. He might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Do not disturb. Morgan has requested your criminal log set to be automatically forwarded to your suite and crew, crew quarters and the supplies from the hardware sent up. Let me know if you get 
If they get to you, alright, and if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Interesting. Alright. Move along, then. Attitude adjustment required, okay. I have to wonder what these are for them. Combat basics. Take advantage of your environment and tools in combat. You don't have to fight every enemy ahead. Or every enemy head on. Okay, so sneak and move. Unlock. Oh, it does work. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. Turret help. Turret help. Turret help. Turret. Man. <laughs> I guess turret had to reload or something. Let's get these. I still don't know what they're for, but... Oh, hi. There was like four of you. Ah. Turret help. Let's go. Turret is friend. So it keeps scanning me for alien material. Oh my god, dude. Can can we not? Can we not for a second? For just a second, can we not? It's Dark Souls all over again. It's one step forward, two steps back, because I get chased by a thousand enemies. Let's try again. Uh silence pistol ammo and bullets. And a gun? Yo! An actual weapon? Okay. Now all we need to do is find ammo for this weapon because 26 is barely enough. With my aim, 26 will go to like two mimics at most. Did we come from here? We didn't. Where are we meant to go? That way. Let's go. This is a mimic base. Coffee table, you cigar, banana peel, you cigar. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Water, water, water. So, what is this? How do I get around this? Do I jump, dip, and hop. Go to Harbor Labs? Yes. This should be the next area. Hardware Labs. I'm curious if it would be the other way around, if we chose the male at the beginning, the guy character, if our sister would be using us as a test subject. Press A, okay. Ooh. Yo. What is that? Can I aim? Must be to sneak if you wish to avoid direct confrontation. Yeah. What? Are those like corrupted bots? Uh. Should I? Wow, these really are kind of useless. Hold on. Can I? There we go. That is so bad. Uh, what is this? Q beam cells, whatever that is. Spare parts. I have to goop these, not shoot these. Kind of wasted a few bullets. Can't even lie. Banana peel, hell yeah. Let's reload before I run out. Same for the pistol, honestly. Let's reload our wrench as well. Um, where do we go? Hi. 
Big Bang Candy. Do any of these- I have so much food items. Do they give me health? Drink, drink. Sky King Pomegranate. Restores 5 HP. Sure. Two beam cells. Can I eat those as well? Can I eat the shotgun shells? Use plastic tubing. Can I eat that? Hyphen organ? Can I eat those? Sunburst banana pudding. We'll just eat everything. Big bang candy. Alright. So we're getting like small healing items around the place. Can I eat the banana peel? Why would I pick it up if I can't eat it? Is my question. No, I can't eat it. Useless to me. If I can't eat it. Oh, it's always so nice when I can break windows. Uh, Jorgen Thorstein. Oop, uh, I need an actual code. Boo. Two emails. You're my only hope. Hey, I sent Larson to the demo theater. Bottle of old Sardar. Okay, nothing important. Demo delay. A lot of these are useless so far. Am I gonna have to use goop? Mm. Don't like this. Don't make me don't don't make me use the goop. I will not hesitate to goop. I will goop you, and you will get gooped. Great why? I think I'm supposed to take these. These seem like kind of important based on how sparse they are. Like they're sparse enough to be something. Sparse, sparse, scarce, sparse. Okay, how would I get over there? Security. Where? Who? Oh my god. Who equipped this thing with the flamethrower? Also, I healed somehow? You take it. I do fear I might run out of goop though. Goop is... Goop is not good. My goop supply is low. What are these sounds, man? Oh, hi. Can I group you? I want to. Let me in. Let me in. Let me add him. Okay. Okay. You've always been good at improvising. I'm curious okay. what you'll do. I think I know, but we'll see. Okay. This isn't working. Um, let's find another way in. Who? Where? What? And why? Who would? Where and why? Neuromod, hell yeah. Can I equip it? I want to do a quick save actually. So, Neuromod. Engineer, what does this do? With heavy objects with ease, makes broken grav shaft fabricators and recyclers with spare parts. Security? Conditioning. Scientist. Um, I do want hacking level something. Mm, we do have options. So more health and more stamina for running away. And these are just kind of iffy. I'll put it into... Security, maybe? Yeah. I don't see why not. Although the next upgrade takes three Neuromods. It's either we make Neuromods or find a bunch of them. 
Also, I saw the phantom breathing, but I don't know where it is. What if I just stay here? I think what's worse about phantoms, or at least the one I fought so far, is that it does... Whoa. I can help you boop it. Oh. It's behind glass. I wish I could help you. Maybe I can. Fire. Get gooped. Ah. Uh, burnt circuit board, repair kit, EMP charge. EMP charge? That seems pretty useful, actually. Emits a large burst of electromagnetic energy. Robots, turrets, and other electrical based entities. It can be thrown or affixed to stationary objects. Got it. This is all grouped up. Why did we come here, though? Uh, RT the place? I don't think I'm supposed to go there. Let's just get out or get back up to where we were, I guess. Uh. Self-repair kit, shotgun shells, employee entrance, let's go. This should be good enough to get through. Whether I want to is a different story. What? Hold X to pick up multiple items. Oh, this opens. It's over here. 26 crew. Uh, silence pistol ammo fabrication plan? Sure. What is happening? RT to place. This is a phone, I believe. These are all cameras. Weapon upgrade kit. Hell yeah. If anything, I'll upgrade my coop gun, because it seems to be the most... Useful so far? Yeah, let's try that. Upgrading our group gun. Neural mods, not the status data inventory. Nothing here, but I do have this. Upgrade? Either glue cannon or pistol. I mean, I'm always gonna have more glue cannon now. Uh, Incapacitation rate to more? Handling, range, reload speed. Nah, incapacitation rate. I'd rather have like a slow reloading gun that is more effective than the alternative. What is this? Psycho stimulant that increases psychic potential of an individual when injected. Restores 12, 72 psychic points. Okay, I assume it's going to be important eventually. Blue canister. EMP charge. Didn't I get a, a blueprint of sorts? There are parts. Yeah, I swear I got a blueprint. We're getting material baseball glove. S tube. So suit repair kit. Okay. This should work now. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, I'm out of bullets. Jeez. You do be hurting though. Right, I'll take the spare parts and the broken cooler fan, I guess. What are you carrying? Burn Strike and Board. Another weapon upgrade kit. Let's go. Our goop gun is going to be so strong. I don't even want to upgrade anything else. Can I upgrade my wrench by chance? Kinda want to do that. We're gonna upgrade, upgrade the glue cannon again. Oh no, we need lab tech one. Firepower, magazine capacity, range, accuracy. 
I don't know. I'm gonna save it. I wish I could upgrade my, my wrench. But I'll save it. Let's equip our goo gun. Loop gun. Trash can baseball club. Uh, hands on electronics. Any blueprints by chance? Any useful hardware that's loud? That is loud as heck. Whoa. Does that fix it? Oh, what is going on? What is happening? It's a lot of noise for for what happens. I don't even know what that was. Let's get to Dr. Calvin's workshop with hopefully no interruptions. Coil. I'm finding so many like spare parts. I hope I can make my own weapon eventually. I go in here. So much for hacking. Oh, enemy. Where? Demonstration stage. Should I be here? Where? down there over here oh well i'm not gonna look for him i need to find dr calvin's body or something or coil i assume there's nothing else here although you know frayed wire burnt circuit board so many things that i don't know what to do with but they are going to be useful eventually i think we're done this is to enter Calvina's workshop. But obviously, I think I just go around. No, it's different. Well, let's fight whatever is making all that noise. It is so loud. I don't know where it is. I still don't know where it is. Interesting. Live Lawrence. Oh jeez. So it has a name, which is a little concerning. It gooped. Let's reload. We have time. Wait, where did it go? What the heck? I guess I defeated it for now. Did it just back out? Maybe it went this way. Oh, hi. You were literally hiding? Get wrenched. Live Lawrence, but this isn't the guy we were supposed to find. Kinesthetic Assister. I guess we just install? Yeah, Goop Gun is very good. We take these, because Goop Gun is very good. Let's hope we don't run out of inventory soon. Goop Gun OP. Goop Gun OP. Oh, I could have used these as explosives. Oh well. That is in the past now. Huntress Bolt Caster. Yo. Alright, X to reload, just shoot things. No biggie. No biggie, no cheese. Deep material, frayed wire. 
place items in bin? What? Oh, it's scooped up. Unfortunate. What does it do? Yeah, I assume I'm not meant to interact with that because it's scooped up. Oh. Did it happen to have a key card? Briefcase. Neural mod, hell yeah. Let's use that for sure. Open upgrade kit, right? I'm not meant to use that yet. I guess I can't choose where that goes. For neural mods, I can put one into. Okay, there's already wooden conditioning. Leverage. I need. Lab Tech 1, which requires Materials Expert. Wow, it requires a lot. Yeah, it's not really anything worth upgrading right now. We'll just chill. I have a crossbow, and I'm ready for whatever's next. Although I should be equipping the group gun. Wait, did I drop the crossbow? Hold on. I should be equipping my weapons differently. There we go. Because the, the handgun is out of ammo at this point. But you know what never runs out of ammo? A wrench. Wrench OP. Security station. How do I get in there? Wrench? Another phantom. But where? Oh my god. So much noise. What does it look like to shape in the glass? I don't know if I have the audio too low, but I see the subtitles for the phantom, but I don't hear them. Which means it's proximity based? Try going this way. Maybe there's a phantom we missed. Or not. Okay. I'm not sure. Almost in it. I hear the phantom. That's where he came from. And there's two other objectives. Security station. Oh, can't go in there. Then... Oh! Whoa. Hi. Get bumped. Uh... search that. We'll get that, thank you. Weren't we in here before? Why is this an objective? There's a lot of things that I don't want to read. Two utilities. Security controls area map. Reset checkpoint. Unlock security locker. And for the area map, download area map. Thank you. So I'm here. There's a lot we haven't explored. Let's go do that. Whoa. Why is this still equipped? I swear I equipped the uh, crossbow. We got him, but we need to. No way. That's bad. We might not survive this. Okay, we do though. Um, we do have a self repair kit. Where is it? Suit repair kit use. There we go. We're mostly okay. It still didn't have what I need though. Also, I should probably heal as well. Where's the med kit? Urban. 
Pure sphere. That makes sense. Ohm bolts. Neuromod, where's my healing? I might not have any healing items, which is bad. Yeah, I don't have any healing, which means I could probably quick save. And I still haven't found a key card for this. Which is a concern, because like I probably should have by now. With all the things I've destroyed. All the creatures I've destroyed. So what was the objective? I should probably check that as well. Optional, use a security station to discover Dr. Calvino's location. Find Dr. Calvino's workshop keycard. Okay. Oh lord. I died. <laughs> I died to an electric arc. Load last save point. Wait. Okay. Wasn't too far. Let's goop that. Oh. I still died though. Um. Hmm. Mm, indeed. Maybe we don't do that. Or maybe we do do it, but in a different way, right? We goop that and we go through here, maybe? Why didn't I try this before? I have very little bit of life to work with here. Pretty much no HP. And also... For some reason, this isn't equipped. Well, actually, how do I unequip? How would I change what this is? How does one change favorites? Menu, assign, to the left. That'll do it. Go back to the group gun and hope for the best. Just we'll go this way. And check this out. We'll just look for no mimics. This is all it takes is one mimic for me to die right now. Three emails. Huntress is ready. Missing operator parts. deleted. And I can't try to repair the turret. I need healing. And soon. What do you mean you'll investigate? We're investigating for you. Mm, I don't like this. Any key cards around here? Or am I just wandering around for no reason? I might just be wandering around for no reason. Stand clear, it says. Oh, it's radiation. Yeah, not sure. Oh my god, really? Well then. 
Well, it's vital signs, not suit incentive. Not sure what to do about that, though. But I still don't have any... healing, really? That I can tell? I have, like, spare parts, but those don't give me healing. So, uh, we're in a little bit of a situation here. Center workshop. Origin? Oh my god. Alright. No, you won't. Oh my gosh. We live. I mean, we almost don't live, but we do live. They don't even drop anything, that sucks. So, we're in quite the situation. Quite the situation, indeed. This workshop is, like, right there. Or maybe it isn't. Conveyor controls, move cargo. That did something. Damage detected. We'll take the fried hard drive, the freight wire, and we'll do a bit of a quick save. Quick save. And hope. Oh my god. It goes well. I would say that went well. I see it, but I don't know if I want to fight it. He dodged pretty fast. Oh! Might be dead here. Yeah, might be dead here. Yeah. Might be out of luck here. Low last save game. We'll get past this, then call it a stream. So, make sure our goop is reloaded. Ooh, they do take more damage when they're gooped up. Which is quite important, I would say. Where's the other mimic? There it is, I think. Oh jeez. It gooped. It gooped. Uh, my gooping skills need work. Right. We can just wait for our health to regenerate. At least to acceptable levels. Then from here, we can preemptively group this. Oh, Q beam, so many things, but I don't know what to do with them. Do I go down? Maybe I don't go down. Oh, come on. We're running out of goop, though, which isn't good. We are low on goop. Oh! Whoa. Uh oh. Well. The end for us. Spare parts. Again, lots of spare parts. But nothing to do with them. 
unless. Hmm. Pooping them doesn't move them. Not quite sure what I meant to do. I still can't open this. Yeah, I don't know. I have like so many things active, but I can't do any of them. What is happening? Is that all it is? That's a lot of noise for what it is. Honestly. What is this for again? So currently power is off, right? What would that mean for me? Oh lord. It still killed me. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice. Oh. I'm like, no way. Oh, the light is off. Oh, it's an unpowered door. That's kind of bad. I wouldn't know what I would want to turn the power off for. Oh my god. What? I didn't know I could do that. I guess now we know. Hi. I'll take whatever you have. Hmm. It's fire. This door does open. So we need to get to Calvin, but we need to upgrade our suit first. Also, fighting mimics has never been so stressful. Please. Enter password. So many requirements to get to like the next parts of some areas. Almost too many requirements. Lots of requirements but no healing items. Sparkling wine. Oh, hi. I'll take this if you don't mind. Weapon upgrade kit. Blue cannon. We don't need an extra one. Well. Guess we move along. To wherever is next. Hi. 
I think I missed you. Lemon peel. Oh, hold on. Ride hard drive. Yeah, again, so many items, but I don't know what to do with them. Three emails. New key code. Dr. Thornstein's office. Where exactly is that? Thornstein. Is that the guy we're chasing? I thought it was like Calvin or someone. Whatever his name is. Oh, medical bay. No way. Can I heal myself? Zeus. Medkit fabrication plan. Let's go. Nothing in the trash can. Uh, anything in the shelves? No. Mostly empty. So what is this? Requesting a new operator. I'm ready to poop you. Transfer pyramid. class <gasps> operator. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing affordable medical. Let's go. This will only take a moment. There. All better. Nice. So these are the ones getting corrupted. Right, so now we're fully healed. It's a good time to save, because now I can be a little more reckless. Uh, we go up or down? Interesting. These elevators are interesting. So I got a key to Thorn office, but the quiver's demonstration stage. Yeah, not it. Not quite it. Who is the other guy, though? Mama Center. Maybe we do go back? Not there. It was another guy's office, I think, that we couldn't go through. Oh, hold on. We have a map. What am I saying? So... Right, we haven't been there. Can we see office by office by chance? Alvino's office. Cattle's one exterior. I don't know where Warren's office would be. But we did get a code for it. Electric junction. Whoa. Oh, this opened. This is new. It pooped. Alright. Ooh, we have choices now. Recycle charge. Let's take these. Royal coil, it seems our inventory is now officially full. Ballistics lab is what we got the new key card for. Anything else? We can't go through here. No. Let's go through, I guess. We cannot go through there. This one is red. It's supposed to go down. Got it. It's supposed to go up. Hello. Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Doctor? I didn't know it was a whole ass doctor. So where do we go? It gooped. It gooped. It didn't do much. Door. We're supposed to equip our suit with something, but I don't know where I would do that.
Let's check objectives again. There's so much. So, Calvino's workshop keycard, Axis Calvino's workshop. Wow. Nothing there. Our hacking skills aren't good enough yet. We'll take material. I'll be away from the lobby. I've left everything in working order while I'm out, just in case I'm sending you the key code to my office. Where is Thorstein's office, though? Oh! It's, okay. Hold on. It's, uh, connected. No way. What is it? 7161. 7161. Alright. Hope there's no mimics here. Better yet, I hope this is useful. I see you. Oh, that's Thornstein. Oh my gosh. Why isn't it? Okay. I'm out of goop. I got him. We got a new key card and we got the goop. I think that's the director of the lab. Hmm. I have the sense he admired you. That's an interesting sense. So Ornstein's safe. Did we get that? Or is that a separate code? Separate code. Let's try 7161. 7161. Yeah, it would make sense, it's not it. So periodic table. Normal for a scientist. Oh, it's a med kit. Mm, probably should. Let me trade it for there's something in my inventory. I have like banana splits and stuff. So Ours to drop. Hyphen organ, test tube sample, lemon peel we have to drop. Mineral material. It's R to drop, there we go. Banana peel. Okay, let's take the medkit. Why can't we take it? Not enough space. What? That's such. Neural mod times two. Hell yeah. Hold on. That's huge. We can upgrade something. Neural mod. We can go into materials expert. And then eventually upgrade our weapon a lot more. We'll do stamina cost. Toughness one. Increase stamina, increase overall movement speed. Wouldn't be too bad. Stealth, combat focus. Time slows. Ooh, that's pretty dope. Position, engineer. I do kind of want to go into this one though. Allows use of weapon upgrade kits to upgrade non standard tech weapons. Increase recycling yield by 20. Yeah, right now it doesn't seem great. Compared to, you know, the combat focus. We're just going to combat focus. It just seems so much better. Additionally... No, I think we just save the thing. Combat focus is really good. It'll allow us to essentially take a lot less damage. We see things in slow motion. Oh, we didn't get a key card. Oh, hold on. What's this? I'm floating. Hmm. Lemon peel. Alright, oh, I dropped those. I did drop those. East ball glove. Another door. 
Down the stairs we go then. Don't know where this leads. Oh jeez. Annual override. Why are we here? Email. Demo delay. I think we've been here before. Also the music changed. Security. Hold on. What was that? I don't think I'm closer to my objectives. I need to get an airlock in order to reach it. You on map. So where do I get the propulsion system? Alright. Scoop this. Then we can go. That fabrication plan is up there. We just gotta get to it somehow. Fire? Uh oh. Loop is not quite strong enough yet. Can't seem to open this. Won't even try. I think we've been here before. Oh yeah, we have with the thing. This requires a custom key. This is just radiation. Yeah, it's just radiation. So, gotta get up there somehow. What is that? That can't be my shadow. What is that? Hold on. Is that from outside? Uh oh. That's at least a little creepy. So, where do we go? How do we go? Up here? Like this? Do we parkour? I guess we parkour. I didn't even know we could do that. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. Out of my way. I need to parkour. Mineral material, these seem important. All these seem important. So, which way do we go? Over there? Let's do a running jump. Wee! Nice. Where is it? There we go. Let's see these. Okay, nothing important. What about this computer? Utilities, transfer file, we'll just do everything. Then for bolt caster ammunition, transfer file. Nice. Sun dried tomato jerky, hell yeah. And more foam bolts, don't know what they do. Start. Wait, fabricator. Tutorial? What does this do? So, fabricators use fabrication plans to create dozens of useful items aboard Talos 1. Each item fabricated consumes some combination of organic, mineral, synthetic, and exotic materials. Search Talos 1 to find plans and materials. Got it. I mean, how do I start them? Can I use it from inventory? EMP charge. Neural mod. I have quite a bit of food now. No mods, engineer security. Yeah, how would I use the thing? Because I'm pretty sure I just got a plan for, for something. How do I use it? Oh, there we go. I can make bolts, medkit, bullets, and the propulsion system, which is what I need. Please crafting, create. Please wait. Ooh. Honk. Hold A while falling to glide or slow your descent. Interesting. Anything else I can- I can make a second one. Don't know why I would want to. Uh, the bowcaster... 
We haven't used the bow actually. The wrench is just so much more useful. And I don't know where I would use the flecky foam bolts. Unless the flecky foam bolts are... Oh! What? Oh, it's a literal foam dart. I mean, it did some decent damage when I checked. Why the heck do I have two wrenches? I don't need two wrenches. I'll keep my own, thank you. So we have a good amount of items. Now I think we just go back. Ooh, that is pretty cool. Yeah, we go back to the locked room, I believe. Here. Hallow's exterior. Mm. Tell you what, before we go into space, I do kind of want to call a stream here. We're at what, two hours? Mm. I mean, the signal's been going pretty well. I think we can keep going. We'll get to the next, like, save point first. Because these chapters go pretty long. But yeah, let's go outside. Let's get some more story, hopefully. We'll be in actual space this time. For real and truly. Here we are. Press A. Microgravity. Oh lord. Well, ascend this A. Descend this B. Oh my god. Wee. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like it. The left is to thrust. Where do we go exactly? I'm just kind of going on space. Um, hold on. We. Is there an anemone in there? Where's this Lorenzo Calvino that we're looking for? There he is, floating. Carrying something else. What is it? Nice. Got it. What now? Do we just go back? Hopefully we just go back. Right? Oh, buddy. Let's go. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, no. Descend. Descend. I've got to get in there. Hold on. Argo. Let's go back. Let me in. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. Quick little space walk, essentially. Quick little space walk. Okay, now we can get into the, the guy's office. Hopefully. Oh, no. I'm using in-game frames because of the space travel. Not in there. Yeah, the in-game frames are terrible now. We just gotta open the dude's office, I believe.
What was this office again? Elio's office? workshop. Did I really mess it up? Whoa. What the heck? It gooped. Here maybe? There it is. Thank you, thank you. I just might. Oh. Over here to Kelvino's workshop. Hopefully, there's no surprises. Flashlight on for this? You don't want to spook me because I have goop. I will goop you. I saw some big dry race markers headphones, mug, tumbler. Right hard drive, frayed wire. We don't know what these are for, but I assume they're useful. This needs power. What? I'll take these if you don't mind. Looking glass console. What do we do with it? Tutorial. Lock stations require a password, search the environment for clues, or use a hacking ability to bypass login. Okay. It requires power. Computer cart. Oh. Oh. Enemy. I don't know if y'all saw that. I saw that. It had a question mark with an enemy on it. Wait, hold on. Could be stuff in here, right? Oh, tape drive. Mm -hmm. So what do I do? Computer carts. I'll take these. I don't know what to do with them. Great wire. Don't know what that is. Oh. Headphones. We've been through before. Oh. Power on. I don't know if you'll see that, but I see like the enemy approaching every now and then. Just no power. Did I connect it? Power is on. Uh, video playback. Test phase one. Did not connect the host. It's phase two. Okay. Network, utilities, verify and restore connectivity. Sure, we'll try that one. Was this trial and error? Server status online. So now we should be able to watch one of them, maybe? Tool 1, connect, connect the host. These are phase 1 and they're LGB. Let's try this. What if we just do all of them? I'm hoping this doesn't come back to bite me. Status online. What about the last one? Oh my gosh, it's so sensitive. There we go. Oh, restoring connection. That was the one I was missing. All right, bro. Nice work, Morgan. The looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. Wow. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I have to go all the way back. Wow, they're gonna make me go all the way back. 
No way. Let's quick save. Because that is quite dumb. Quite dumb indeed. Right then. Back we go. Oh man, this thing literally tickles them. Oh, this guy's not as difficult. Whoa, anyone else? Oh, he was carrying a lot. Interesting. I'll take this if you don't mind. I assume there will be... Whoa. Lots of people trying to stop me. Back to the Tattles lobby. Yeah, because this is where my room is. Alright, on to Tattles lobby. I haven't... My coffee's so cold by now. I've been so focused on finding what the next thing is and trying to survive against these uh, mimics. Coffee time. Alright, back to Talos lobby with a group gun. Clear things up. Oh lord. Okay. Myself a little bit there, but Goliath video in 160 meters. Let's go then. Let's hope there's no one to stop me on the way there. Maybe a final boss. Conference and sent me. Oh, I'm out of ammo. This is so bad. Okay, no, no, no. I have to run. I'm just out of ammo. Yep, multiple of them. Had to be, had to be. Not surprised. Is there a safe one? Oh, video. Right. Do not disturb. Neural mod. Wait, what? Neural mod here. Let's quick save. In case we get interrupted. Now, I want to equip the neural mod. I should have four, which should be enough for... Hmm. Combat focus duration increases to 12. Time slows less for you than your enemies. Your attacks deal 110% damage and actions cost 25 stamina. Ah. See, now I do want to go into materials expert. And eventually into lab tech. Quick save again. Actual save. Create new save. I don't know why I haven't done that before. Oh, not. Uh oh. Did I. I think I messed up. I might be dumb. Resume. Okay, good, good, good. I thought I messed up. I'm like, oh no, I broke the screen. I'm not going to like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos One. Oh. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Interesting. Including you. I know no how way. it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Wait, really? Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So, mm. it's up to you now. I can, I can break the... Told you okay. Like it. Oh. That's rough. That is indeed pretty rough. He was January. 
Oh. Corpse vanishes. Wait, why didn't I find Bellamy's corpse? And Tattles one lobby. Hello, Morgan. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Talos One. Oh, it's you. But none of them are like me. Okay. I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. Mm -hmm. Second task was to make sure you saw your video. Right. They're done. Self destruct now? New directives are now available to me. The self destruct protocol for Talos One is activated by two arming keys. Huh? Your brother has the first. You oh. have the second. Alex destroyed your arming key, but you hid a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's Makes sense. Where you need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. Deep storage. The spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. The key card will grant you access to the main list and all the labs. The main list is the fastest way to reach deep storage. Hmm. I will say I do need a, a group reload. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. Uh -huh. Oh, let's go. Even more neuromods? It's one more neuromod? Oh. Security station in the lobby. Let's go. Uh. Is this even worth it? I'm literally shooting nerf darts at it. Alright. Oh, there's two of them. What do I even do? Really? What do you even do here? Help. Where are the turrets when you need them? Oh my, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Uh... There's a key card here. Oh my god. What do I even do here? What do I even do here? There's so many. It was just here. Okay. They lost me. I need to check my weapons. I have any ammo? That's not ammo. No ammo. I have neural mods, which I can maybe do something with. Security. Oh no, now I can do the lab tech one. Map, inventory. Now I can use the weapon upgrade kit for whatever. But I don't actually have weapons, is a thing. Oh, and also I have... Oh no, did I not pick up the self-repair kit? That's dumb. Uh, drink. And... Eat all these. Urban, I'm gonna be drunk by the end of this. Yeah, I don't have an actual weapon. Oh yeah, I'm drunk. Uh-oh. That makes things a little bit tough. Sales division. Oh, nope. I'm going that way. Where is the storage department? Not there. Yeah, I might need to go to the storage department, but I don't know how. Let me check the map. Hardware labs, is that where I'm supposed to go? Objectives. Take the main lift. To the Arboretum. Arboretum? Marquez. That act. Main lift is down there. How would I get down there? Right? Jump? Oh, I just jump. Uh oh. Mm. I have to book it. Yeah, 
Is that where the elevator is? The guardian. Be well. Oh my god, really? Really? Oh my god, dude. Incoming call. Wait, something's wrong. No. I'm talking to the lift no shit. System. I have a turret the though. Is telling me it's fine. Go it's rip, just... go rip. The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. Mm. And something is preventing the car from descending. It's stuck at the top, in the arboretum. I'll see if I can find another way up. What do I do in the meantime? I... There's a route through the psychotronics level. Psychotronics lab. Where exactly is that? Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Be careful. Oh. Etour. This is Security Chief Elazar. Who the hell shut down the elevators and airlocks? Answer me. My team locked down tight here. We need those lifts working. Sam, it can't be a power loss, can it? I don't think so, Chief. The main lift and all the airlocks shut down. Anything right. can use in here? Glue cannon. Oh, I don't need the glue cannon, but I do need the the ammo for it. We can drop this. Oh right, I turned off weapon degradation. I was wondering, like, why would I need extra copies of weapons, but weapon degradation is a thing. Bathroom, bathroom. Oh. Med kit? But no med kit. Wait. Nothing here. We have to go this way? Megatronic staff only. Really? We can't go through there exactly. A med kit is useful. Oh jeez. Is there more? Oh my gosh. There really should be a lock on feature. Okay, we got him. Anything else? Uh oh. What the? Oh, the... Hmm. Now, how do we get through here? Mirror. Didn't do anything. What about through here? Hi. Whoa. There's two of them. Oh, I can't, I can't win this. I can't win this. I'm so dead. Uh, I'm stuck in the door. What do you even do? Can I, I can droop them, I think. I can droop them, I can droop them. Maybe I can't outrun them, but I can for sure droop them. So what's the point of opening that door? It's chasing pretty close by. Pretty close behind, rather. And I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Wait, what's on that screen? Nothing important, I think. I'd just be running. I'm booking it. But I don't know where to go. Security, what if I go up? Might be a death trap, but I'm gonna try going up.
Turns out it was a death trap. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. It's not even close. I'm so dead. Oh yeah. GG. But also... What if I keep running? There's so many of them. Oh lord. Oh cool. Uh... <laughs> we just keep running. Didn't think that would open. That's locked. Oh jeez. Oh buddy. Oh no. Mm. This is dumb. Why can't I open this? Yeah. Uh... Not much I can do here. Well, I think we'll just have to figure it out next time. Lots of wandering around. This is security chief Elazar. Who the hell gets Yeah, like what's the objective? Make my way to deep storage, a data processing facility. Mainly it's inaccessible, there's another way up. First to Psychotronic Lab. Yeah, so it's like, you gotta take a detour, but the detour, detour is blocked off, so like, what, what do you even do? What do you even do? Get to a safe area. Check your surroundings. Walls, floor, ceiling. Then see yourself in. We're working on the problem and we'll be there to retrieve you as soon as we can. Elazar out. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Hi. Did he die or? Get that. Oh, awesome. Hi. Nice to see you. I guess we'll just duke it out. I guess we traded. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> it's gonna have to... Maybe... Yeah, for next time what I'm gonna do, just to make things more streamlined, is... Have a walkthrough ready. Yeah, I'm going to need to have the walkthrough ready. In case I get stuck, I can just very quickly look over to it and figure things out. Because, I don't know. I like exploration. I don't like when it involves running from things you can't fight. And some horror games do do that. Where it's like, oh, uh, you have to run your way through a maze. Figure out the maze, but also you're being chased by a monster, so your time is very limited, and so are your actions. And that's exactly what this is. So not not the most fun, not the not the best, but we work with it. I'm sure with the a walkthrough it'll be a lot more streamlined. But yeah, hope y'all guys hope y'all guys yeah hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I'll be seeing you guys next time, hopefully with more prey, maybe even some Kingdom Hearts. No, honestly, I got I gotta finish prey. This will probably take up most of October, and we'll continue with Kingdom Hearts uh, sometime in November. Let's go to our ending screen, and here's y'all's. There's no, yo, some time with Max. Welcome. I I probably missed y'all's messages for a good a good bit. I was pretty focused. Also, welcome double. But yeah, that'll be it for now. Important stuff in your office. Yeah, I should probably looked a little better. What? We'll do that next time. Here's y'all's final daily reminder that you are loved and deserve all the respect. Also, y'all's chats don't show up on your phone, which is where I'm monitoring chat. 
I see them in the on the thing on the side though. <laughs> on the actual chat that I have popped up. Yeah, we'll do this next time. Max, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, y'all caught this stream a little late. Y'all can enjoy the vibe. Yeah, bye bye.